preconceived notions of how something is going to go in a large way will determine how they go. Let's give some examples. When we come out here to greet a patient, if we come out here and say, oh, I've got to see another skin exam. Ah, oh, this is going to put me behind. Oh, I hope this patient isn't, you know, fill in the blank. What's going to happen with that encounter? Let's back it up. What's going to happen with that introduction? Is it going to be warm and welcoming and us being engaged to help them? If our mindset is when we come out to meet a patient, when we answer a phone to book an appointment, when we are responding to a phone call because a patient needs something or has a concern or has a question, if our mindset is, oh God, another task, what is the outcome going to be? Anybody? Good or bad? How many people think it's going to be great, outstanding, amazing, wonderful? How many people think it might be mediocre? Yeah, could be mediocre. How many people think it's probably not going to serve the other person or you? So we can do our day over and over and over again. And we can keep building up the great, the average, or the mediocre. And the real question is, how do you want your day to go? You know, in our brains, we have all these neurons, all these nerves. And our brains are amazing things, just like a muscle. Do a bunch of biceps, you get huge, right? Well, your brains, if you approach things with negativity, if you approach things with, ah, oh, this is going to suck. Oh, this is another task I have to do. Oh, this is this. It actually makes the, this is going to suck neuron and your brain get bigger. It forms what we call myelin around it, which is a protein that speeds up the connections. Okay? And it does other things. And so the, this is going to suck, part of your brain gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And this is proven over and over and over. So what happens is it's a never-ending cycle. Oh, people are out to get me. Oh, this is stupid. Oh, this is whatever. And what happens? Everything in your life then becomes to suck. It becomes a task. It becomes a this. And you're creating your own destiny. How many of us know somebody who is real thin, skinny, and they think they're fat, right? How many of us have talked to that person? You're beautiful, you're the right weight. Look, look at this growth chart. Look at the average weight for your, look, you're 20% less heavy than somebody who's the appropriate weight. And they're like, no, 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 I'm fat. How many people know somebody who's overweight? And they say that they do everything possible. And they're still overweight. And then when you look at what they eat for lunch, it's more than somebody could, should consume in five days. Okay? And you say, well, maybe you should try eating something that's more of like a 400 calorie meal than a 5,000 calorie meal. All of us approach what we're doing, and we have blinders on, myself included. But how we approach our day from the most mundane of tasks will dictate how everything in life goes. And we know that. If we approach this day with awesome, I have the privilege of helping somebody. I get to meet somebody new. Oh, I've seen this person before. I'm so glad that you're back. How can we help? Tell us the story of how we've made your life better. Do you think that interaction is going to go better than, damn it, another patient? And if we go through that with excitement and joy, if people can hear Eric's smiling voice on the phone, how do you think they're going to feel? How do you think you're going to feel knowing you made someone's day better? How do you think the end of your day will go? 
in terms of being proud, happy, and how's the rest of your life? The little things. How we do anything is how we do everything, guys. How we do anything is how we do everything. If we're always looking at the negative and just finish it so I can move on, then guess what? That's how you're going to be in your personal life. That's how you're going to be in your relationships. That's how you're going to be in your goals and dreams. I have blinders on. Jeff does. Everybody does. That's how we look through our eyes into this world. It's how we perceive everything coming in. And we all have examples of people that we know that have the blinders on, that can't see the obvious in front of them. And I promise you, all of you do, and I do as well. The interesting thing is that those blinders can be changed. Your mindset can be switched. And when you do, if your mindset was, hey, this sucks, and everything in life sucks, after a couple of months, try it. Be grateful for everything. You will build the grateful neuron. Everything you see will be grateful. And your entire life will be transformed. I don't know what you do in your personal lives. You don't know what I do in mine. But I do know that we spend 40 hours here, minimum, at work. 40 hours is an enormous chunk of time. And if we bring a sense of awe and excitement to work, that 40 hours were build in everything. So today, we are doing really well with greeting people, shaking hands, warm smiles. We're doing really well. We're doing really well with, hi, how are you, Sam, John, Bill, and welcoming people by names. Thank you for that. Let's find the joy in it now and watch that joy infect every part of your life. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it valuable, please subscribe below so that you can get up-to-date content when it's released. And please share with your friends and family so that when they're going through similar things, they have the knowledge that they need.